In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you my top five sequencer tips and tricks that every Unreal Engine dev should know. First up, piloting the camera. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I did not know this trick for two years. You literally right click on the asset that you want to pilot and then pilot Cine Camera Actor. And the reason this is so useful is because then you can get that actor into whatever position you want to put it in. Now, usually that's a camera, but sometimes you want to do that for any kind of actor. And then when you're done, you just right click on it again, stop piloting. But that brings us to our second tip because right here, you can see my camera is way out of focus. So what's the fastest, easiest way to get a camera in focus? And for that, with our Cine Camera Actor selected, we got to scroll down a little bit. You got to look for the focus method here. And instead of manual, I'm just going to switch that to tracking. And we are going to select the actor that we want to track and that's our BP Cairo here and we can even use the eyedropper here to just click on that and click right on them we got it on to the third tip so this is only obvious once I play the cinematic so if I play it it's going way too fast I want to add what's called a time dilation track and time dilation is exactly what it sounds like you could speed it up you could slow it down you could do it for the whole track you can add keys to speed it up or slow it down at a particular point it's just insanely useful so I can just set this to be 0.2 speed and let's play again yeah, that looks much more realistic. All right, so the fourth one. So this one was not obvious to me until I encountered the problem, because right now, as I play this, it's actually working properly. It's working the way that I want it to work, which is he's syncing at a constant rate, but it's only working properly because I adjusted something. So it's under the location here, the location Z. You see how this is a triangle instead of a circle like the rest of them. So the triangle, that means what's called linear interpolation between the two keys, between the two points that I set. And let me show you what this does if I set it to cubic, which is the standard one. I've got to set this one also to cubic. So if I hit play, he slowly begins to drop, then he reaches full speed in the middle, and then he slows down again as it approaches the final point. That's what cubic interpolation does, right? It slowly ramps up and it slowly slows down. And most of the time you want cubic interpolation because you want a smooth blending between multiple points. But in this case, I want him drowning, I want him sinking at a steady rate. So you just right click on the point, you select linear or constant interpolation, and you could play with these settings, see what you get the best effect with. Yeah, so then let's play it again. So now he's just falling at a constant rate. So the last one might be kind of obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do this. And you want to get the lighting of your scene precisely right, because lighting matters a lot. And that is adding your post-process volume as an actor to sequencer. So you just go to actor to sequencer and you search for post-process here. It's not going to show up for me because I already did it. But the reason to add your post-process volume to sequencer is because then you can take any single setting. So under settings here, you can take any setting on your post-process volume, stick it into sequencer, and then key it. So at this point, I've got the intensity of the bloom to just be one, but then it ramps up fast. So I put the bloom all the way at 30 at the end. And you could do that for any setting in your post-process volume. So that's it, that's the top five, but I'll give you one last one, which is my favorite keyboard shortcut, and that is Shift C. And Shift C, all it does is switches back and forth to camera cuts. So instead of coming up here and having to click this button every single time, you could be anywhere you want, right? So I could be moved all around and then Shift C, and then as soon as we play, we're back in action. So I hope you enjoyed and feel free to check out the rest of the channel.